Is there yet a downtown residential pride? Is there a sense of, we're not east siders, we're not west siders, we're downtowners? Oh, definitely in the arts district. I mean, I'm sure in other areas as well. I happen to live in the arts district, so I can attest to it from there. Um, I think it's a, it's a residential you know, evolution that's, that's creating the concept of what you're talking about. And again, I think a part of it is demographically, it is a lot younger. Um, and, and I think that that's creating a completely different dynamic. When I was in my 20s, I, I, you know, it, we talk about this, this revival and all this, but there were amazing things to do. Lace was downtown in the arts district, and all the, where Bestia was, there were, there were great artist warehouses and galleries, and we'd go to parties. Um, Al's Bar was there, music was, you know, really important. So, you know, it might be, and, and, and back then they were talking about the, the wealthy architects who were moving in and ruining the neighborhood, you know, and so, you know, uh, <laughs> sorry, the architects, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, they were taking the art spaces and there was arguments over, you know, who was an artist and who deserved to have the um, art spaces back then. So, I mean, it's, it's, I, think, I think of it as layers, you know, it's, it's buildings, it's people, it's restaurants, there's connective tissue, you know, and I think we're building on top of things, you know, and, and just making things more complex. I don't think downtown is suddenly interesting, I think it's always been interesting. Mm -hmm.